We have a lot of good teachers. They have lots of good intentions. Sometimes those good intentions just don't fit into the community. I know people want to change the world, but the, our world has changed very dramatically. Our region is very different compared to the world. Some of the villages have lost their language and culture because the school said English only. Everyone feels culture, just as like people feel Alaska Native culture, so do we also feel European American culture. That culture is what dominates and guides our education system. Then you have kids that are in the schools, they don't see themselves represented, and they say, like, this must not be a place for me. It can be very damaging if we don't shift our classrooms, if we only think from a Western perspective. The teachers usually are the ones that are going to leave, and the people are going to remain in that community. but we want our teachers to stay. We want our teachers to be able to have all the tools that they need to be able to be successful, to be happy, to not just be a teacher, but really become a part of our community. In order to be culturally competent, you have to know yourself. We all have culture of some sort. We just have to search from within. The more you know about your culture, the more you're going to be able to better understand our culture. C3 program becomes important because it is a bridge between the teacher and the student and the teacher and the community. It's a place where you learn about yourself. They say it takes a community to raise a child. You know, it takes a community as well to, to raise a teacher. <laughs> There's a deep-rooted knowledge that we have learned from 10,000 years of ancestors. Teachers learn from the elders. Teachers learn from the students. They connect to the land. It's intertwined. Educators can include our students' knowledge in the classroom and still be able to be successful in the Western expectations. I've had students honestly helped me plan a class. They would say, oh, well, my Anna or my Tata, they got a, a net down by the river we can go check and pull up for fish. You might hop on a boat with some students uh, and some rifles and head down river looking for a moose. The kids are your teachers. If you're along for the journey, they will take you on it. That's what I see as culturally competent. Each community has their own character. C3 impacts everybody. Every village has their own culture. You have to learn what the nuances are. Those that make the adjustment, they're well respected. And kids want them to be their teachers.